Hello and welcome to Mike McNally Golf. My name is Mike McNally and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to pitch like a tour pro. So one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of students make, and to be honest, it's a mistake I used to make, and that is that thinking that to be a good pitcher of the ball, that you have to hit the ball high in the air and land it softly on the green. But the truth is the best players on tour, the best players in the world, all play this pitch shot in a completely different way. So before we get started, let's talk about the way the top players play this shot and what we're actually trying to do with the golf ball and how we need to deliver the golf club to the ball. So what we're looking for here is a low launching pitch with spin. The kind of shot that launches low, is penetrating, lands on the green, takes one bounce and then stops. That's the goal, a low flighted pitch shot. So how do we achieve that? So in the video here, you can see at impact, what I've been able to achieve is approximately 15 degrees of forward shaft lean. So to do that, you need to get your hands ahead of the club head and the ball. That will help you achieve this 15 degrees of forward shaft lean. What you'll also notice is that my right elbow is working in front of the body to help me get my hands further forward. And as we go to the next frame here, we're trying to get a straight left arm that matches up beautifully with the, with the club shaft. And again, through impact, trying to keep almost, keep the hands moving, but slow down the club head to help maintain um, a lower amount of loft that you're presenting to the ball, which is actually called dynamic loft. So let's dive into the numbers and discuss a little bit more about what they mean. So I mentioned dynamic loft. Um, I'm using a 60 degree lob wedge here. And as you can see from the numbers, I'm actually presenting about 40 degrees of loft to the ball. So I've effectively turned my 60 degree wedge into a 40 degree wedge. So dynamic loft is the loft that you actually present, the, the loft that you present to the ball at impact. So how have I turned a 60 degree wedge into a 40 degree wedge? Well, the first thing we talked about was that 15 degrees of forward shaft lean at impact. So there's 15. Where'd the other five degrees come from? That comes from my attack angle. So I'm hitting approximately five degrees down on the ball, which is the kind of number we're looking for. Um, so let's look at, you know, dynamic loft. That's what I'm trying to get. Round about 40 is good. Launch angle relates to the angle the ball launches relative to the ground. So to be able to hit a low pitch shot, I want this number below 30. I want to get closer to 29. I'm pretty happy with 32. Um, it's getting, I'm definitely getting better. In terms of club speed and carry, um, here you can see I'm, I'm you know, hitting a 35 yard pitch shot. So in terms of club speed, to get good at distance control, you need to be able to swing the club at a consistent speed. But I think also is Probably more important is the having the ability to control not only your club speed, but the dynamic loft again that you're able to present to the ball through impact. If you can get good at deciding how you're going to deliver the club in terms of the dynamic loft, you will get good at distance control. So again, we mentioned hitting, you know, five degrees down on the ball. Attack angle relates to whether you hit up on the ball or down on the ball. Up would be a positive number on track man but as you can see i'm hitting five degrees down which is pretty optimal maybe six degrees would be a little bit better um spin loft 45 is right on the money here so very very happy with that let's actually take a jump into the optimizer feature on track man and actually see are these numbers optimal or not for this low pitch shot so again attack angle Five degrees down, very happy with that. Could maybe six would be a little bit more optimal. Spin loft, right on the money, very happy with that also. Ball speed's a little low, 
may have something to do with the ball I'm using, more likely the quality of my strike. Um, again, launch angle is a little bit on the high side. I'd like, again, to get that number below 30 degrees. Um, spin rate's a little low. Uh, that's got a lot to do with the balls I'm using. And again, definitely the quality of my strike um, and the height is pretty much bang on the money. There was one number that we didn't look at if we go back and that is smash factor. So smash factor relates to the amount of energy that you're transferring from the club head to the ball. So a good number here would be about 1.1. You can see I'm on, I'm, I'm a little bit on the low side here at 1.02 and I've got a little suspicion of why that might be. Let's take a look at impact. So there you go, that's it. So I've struck that one slightly out the toe, which will reduce ball speed potentially, um, reduce spin and definitely cause that low score in terms of smash factor. So try this drill out. Where through impact, you're trying to achieve 15 degrees of forward shaft lean by getting the hands ahead of the club head, ahead of the ball, and then through impact, trying to maintain the loft on the club face by keeping the left arm straight matched up with the shot during, during the follow through. So thanks again. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want more videos like this, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Mike McNally Golf. And make sure you head over to mikemcnallygolf.com forward slash newsletter to get all my best content for free straight to your inbox. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.